Good afternoon, YouTube. Hope everyone's having a fine day. Uh, I got a couple videos I want to do today. One of them is about um, marijuana. Let's talk about weed. I've been watching this video, uh, this documentary show, talking about uh, food and bottled water and cocoa beans and, of course, the edible marijuana market. And one of the things I wanted to point out is a lot of the times when people are pushing for medical marijuana, they're, they're trying to state that, oh, this helps with cancer patients. This helps with uh, people with this mental disorder and this, that, and the other thing. Pills don't fix anything because what they do treat, they also bring with it a list of other side effects. Things that um, are not good for you. Now, <sighs> marijuana is no different. It makes you not care about it, but it doesn't fix anything. It might give you the munchies and you might eat, so that could be kind of helpful to a cancer patient. But it's not fixing the cancer. It's not kicking it out of the body. Although some people may claim, oh, yeah, my cancer's gone because I smoked weed. <laughs> no, your, your body miraculously fought it off, but it isn't because you were burning one. Uh, in this documentary I was watching, it's called Rotten, by the way. You can look it up on Netflix. There was this, what I, I and a couple buddies of mine like to cons call fake hippies. Um, these people are usually wealthy, liberal, enjoy pot like most people that use it do. And uh, she's sitting there talking about how uh, she used to have this seizure disorder. And she met some guy who claimed to be a doctor, asked, what kind of medication are you taking? She showed him the pill bottle. The guy freaked out, said, oh, no, 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 this is poison. You shouldn't be taking this. This is bad for you. Here, try smoking this. Miraculously, she has no more seizures. Well, my son, who's 13 now, used to have seizures when he was a kid. He would get them randomly every so often. His temperature would go up. He would geek out a little bit. Never gave him medication. You know, just kind of kept an eye on it. Would inform the doctor anytime it happened. Um, he hasn't had one in years since he was in single digits. You know, he hasn't had one in years. He's never smoked marijuana, and he's never taken any medication. So what that tells me is this woman who had supposedly some kind of seizure disorder that she was taking pills for, and then decided to smoke weed for and then claims, oh my God, just like that, I no longer have seizures. You sure you didn't just fucking grow out of that shit? Look back in the Old West. You didn't have shit for med medical technology back then or medical knowledge. So if someone got shot or hurt, the first thing the doc or sawbones would usually do is give a person a big drag of the whiskey, right? It didn't fix it. It didn't kill the pain. It didn't fix it. What that did was gave the wounded individual something to focus on other than the pain while the doc was getting ready to dig a bullet out or stitch the man up. So the burn you feel as the whiskey goes on your belly and down your throat is going to take your mind, although very briefly, off the pain. Pot is no different. You smoke weed. It doesn't cure pain. I know. I've tried it. It doesn't work that way. You don't get high and then all of a sudden don't feel anything. It's not fucking PCP. Okay? That's not how this shit works. It's not heroin. Although, maybe I'm wrong nowadays, because from what I understand, pot is like super goddamn powerful nowadays. And why? How high do you need to be? How fucked up do you need to be? Why does people need more and more powerful marijuana? Why has weed got to be so fucking strong for it? You know, the weed that's out nowadays, we, 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 back in the day, I would have curled up in a ball, a fetal position, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God. Why is it got to be so powerful? Why do people got to be that fucked up? Why do they got to be so fucked up? 
And don't get me wrong, I feel the same way about alcohol. Why is why is beer got to be 10, 12% for some of these craft beers? Why is it got to be so strong? Is there a reason behind it? No. They just want to see how fucked up they can get. No matter what you're using or what you're doing, moderation has been and always will be the key. You know, people don't need to be so fucked up. And the problem is, is a lot of people nowadays are trying to run away and hide from their problems. They're trying to escape reality. Well, unfortunately, there's no escape for it. It's just like mental shit. People with mental problems. Mm. Here. Take these pills. We don't know how much to give you, so we're going to start you out at this dose, and we're going to work our way up. So that way your body gets used to that, and you're going to need re require stronger and stronger doses. And um, why, how interesting that the doctor has stationary the same name of the pills they gave you. <laughs> it's no different than a race car with all the names of the uh, sponsors that invested into that race car and that racing team. You know, look at... Um, Richard Petty, 73, uh, the STP race car. STP was a big investor into that race team. So, of course, STP was emblazoned on his car. And what was it? The, the Superbird, I believe it was, the 69 Superbird. STP was everywhere. The car was even in STP colors, blue and red. It should be the same for doctors. Doctors should have to wear all the... All the uh, pharmaceutical names is com corporations' names on their jacket when they come and see you. Be like, my jacket on. You can see everybody that pays me for when I give you pills. But medicinal. Back to the back to the point. Medicinal marijuana is not medicinal. It's not medicinal. It's not helping you with anything. It's helping you not give a shit about it. Is what it, what it is. It's helping you not care. Pot and dulls the senses. Numbs the mind. I'm, I'm not against it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against it. And I I am against government regulation. I don't think a government should be allowed to say, hey, you can't do this or you can't do that. But what it should be is, you want to smoke pot? Grow your fucking own and smoke it in your house. That's it. If it's outside your house, now you're in trouble. If you're smoking it outside your house, now you're in trouble. Same thing with alcohol. You want alcohol? No, you can't buy it at the store. But you can brew it at your fucking house. You take it outside your house, now you're in trouble. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. In my opinion. But honestly, do people really need to be that fucked up? Do you need to be that high? Really? Well, that's it for that segment. I've got another couple of videos I want to drop, but that's it for this one. Thanks all for viewing. I'll talk to you guys later.